Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. A great big God bless you. This is Chandra Davis here with your five minute words of encouragement. Today's war key is to take your responsibility. I heard the Spirit of the Lord say onus. I had to look that up. And so it's onus, O N U S. And so the definition is used to refer to something that is one's duty or responsibility so i said okay lord like what are you saying what is that responsibility and he's like listen as a believer it's our responsibility like like everybody has a part of responsibility jesus is a champion of heaven he came he died on a cross for us and he did the most important part right we have to accept his sacrifice and we have to apply it to our life and so one of the things i heard the spirit of the lord say is our job to fact check people and to fruit check people um god he's given us his spirit to lead us and guide us in our truth and so as believers we have to find out where god plants us the bible says that it's god who plants people where he wants them right it's our responsibility to fellowship as believers it's our responsibility to love to give right to do these things that god called us to do to do life with who he's connected us with right it's so important that we understand that um this life we were meant to not live it alone but to connect with others god wanted a family an extension of himself and as a family family can get messy but this is why we have to learn how to love we have to learn how to be graceful people we have to learn how to fruit check and fact check it's our responsibility god said listen you'll know what manner of a tree you have by the manner of fruit that it produces and so and if you're only in relationships because nowadays the social media online stuff like it, it's people replace real people real relationships with it if you don't have access to a person to be able to fruit check and fact check like it's not that you shouldn't be taking uh you know part in whatever they're doing but you need to also be where god has planned you to be where you can have interaction and you can still have interaction online but some places you can some places you can't some whatever it is and so you have to be where god wants you to be it's the glory of god to conceal a matter and it's the glory of kings to search it out so it's our responsibility to search out what god is saying to to us is our responsibility to search out where God has planted us. It's our responsibility to fruit check every single relationship that we go into. You know, the the Bible tells us the fruit of the spirit. It tells us the, the fruit of, of our flesh the works of the flesh and so we have to understand that we can't just accept people saying that they're operating by the spirit of god but they have no love they have no joy they have no peace they have no patience they have no gentleness no kindness no self-control right we know the fruit of the spirit and so um it, it's our responsibility to check the fruit not judge the person but judge the fruit so that we don't eat rotten fruit and become sick and wonder what's going on in our life amen so i just got here this morning to encourage you listen we're going through tough times we're talking about keys to war today's key to war is to take your responsibility as a blood-bought believer. Jesus didn't do it all. He bared a cross. He did it all. He bared his cross, but we have to bear a cross. That's what I mean. Like we have a part to play. We have a responsibility to find out what God is saying and doing and do that. Jesus said, I only do what I see my father doing. We have to find out what the father is doing and follow suit. We need to be where we're planted. We need to occupy where he wants us to be. It's our responsibility. And one day we're going to be held accountable. He's going to hold, we're being held accountable now, but one day we're going to have to face him and give an account for what we are doing here on earth. And so I encourage you this morning to take responsibility for your, uh, for your blood bought you as a blood-bought believer take responsibility for your actions on how you're living life how you're occupying your life today amen listen it's easier said than done how do you take responsibility when things are so confusing nowadays there's so many voices one voice says this another voice says that there's so much stuff going on how do you do it it all starts with jesus it starts with accepting him as your lord and your savior believing that he died on the cross and was raised again the third day and now it's at the right hand of god then you have to surrender your life to him when you surrender your life to him he'll give you his spirit his spirit will lead you and guide you in all truth his spirit will lead you and show you what you should and should it be done his spirit will help you fact check people his spirit will help you fruit check people his spirit will show you where you should be connected where you shouldn't be connected and i just want to say that there's no perfect place you can't look and say there's faults here there's stuff going on here i shouldn't be here if god plants you there you get there you stay there and you get the blessings of what's supposed to be there because if we ever find a perfect place to be when we get there we'll mess it up because we're not perfect right and so we invite you to accept jesus christ your lord and your savior now some of you've done that before but you got to the left and right god said he's married to the backslider 
He's faithful and he's just that if you confess your sins, he'll forgive you. Not only forgive you, but he'll cleanse you of all unrighteousness. So we invite you to rededicate your life now. I'm Chandra Davis. My husband's Anthony Davis. We're sending you to the Kingdom Awakening Church. Uh, we would love to pray with you, walk with you. But please understand this. We serve a living God. He lives, he breathes, he's moved. Our God is the only living God. He will contend for himself. If you make a conscious decision to step toward him, he will step towards you. Listen, y'all, I just got on here really quickly to encourage you to take responsibility for your salvation. Amen. Take responsibility. Your do your part on what you're supposed to do. It's your part. It's your responsibility to search out what God is saying to you. It's your responsibility to find out where God is planting you, who you're supposed to be interacting with, to fact check people, to, to study, to show yourself approved, to fruit check people, to see if they're operating by the Spirit of God. Just because a person says they're operating by the Spirit of God, do they have the fruit to match what they're saying? Listen, everybody, enjoy the rest of your day and make it a great one on purpose.